Well, hello guys, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at fuel systems. And uh, last time you may have seen me is I was working on the six horse Briggs, and I uh, got a little different carburetor, put it on, and it just made all the difference. It used to be. Uh, but I tell you what, I've got something that I'm going to show you now. It's going to be for the Studebaker. So, uh, let me move the old Briggs out of the way and we'll get it over here and we'll check it out. Well, here's what I have right here and this is a Phytech EFI system, electronic fuel injection. And it's gonna go on the Studebaker. It's a little self-contained unit. And the thing that I like about it is that everything you need is in these two boxes. Well, here's all our, our main parts right here. The throttle body already, like I said earlier, the little ECM is up here on the front. Uh, what you have is a coolant temp sensor. And that reminds me, it's very similar to a GM type. Uh, this is a four wire O2 sensor, so it's a heated O2 and it should uh, you know, warm up quickly and it just plugs straight into this harness and uh, locks into place. So that's your two sensors that uh, the throttle body primarily operates on. Uh, what you have is kind of like a little handheld unit that uh, you can adjust the perimeters of the throttle body. Uh, it pretty much comes straight out of the box ready to run, but uh, you have a few steps that you need to enter the information in uh, so it'll fit your specific application. But, uh, well here we are, we got a side-by-side -side view. And I have a few things that I'm gonna have to swap over there, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the throttle body on there before I start swapping stuff over. Uh, really, it's a, a lot cleaner setup than having the carb. Well, here's an update on the install so far. I uh, have the throttle body installed and I have my fuel lines run. I went ahead and utilized uh, my original steel line that I had put to the tank before and just removed my fuel pump and installed a block off plate. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I changed the radiator neck out uh, because it was running right over the top of the uh, water temperature sensor for the throttle body. And uh, so I put a little different neck on there and it made a nice clear, clean looking area. Uh, for the uh, sensor and its wiring. All right, I think you can make out uh, on my exhaust manifolds, the one that I used, it had an O2 sensor bung there location. And I just used that factory uh, location to install my O2 sensor and uh, got it all hooked up. And so that was a pretty easy install. Well, I have my fuel pump installed and mounted. I'm using the frame rail style pump. And uh, I use some insulating grommets to mount that pump to cut down any vibration or noise possibly that you might hear from the pump due to it running. And uh, I have all my fuel lines connected. So all I need to do is uh, run my power wires and uh, it should be good. Well, because this is an older car and I needed a return line uh, for the fuel system, what I did is I made a uh, kind of a J tube, the end of that tube where I brazed it into my filler neck. It points down toward the tank and uh, I opted to go ahead and just clamp it firmly there to the uh, filler neck that return tube 
and uh, so I feel like it'll be pretty secure right there. All right, well, we've got everything hooked up, and I'm not going to kid you, I've already fired it up. But just check this out. That's a fuel pump building up pressure. No pumping, no nothing. It's just touch the key and you're ready to go. Tell you what, that's pretty uh, easy system to put on, really. I'm really very pleased with it. Well, everything looks pretty good here. I'll have to drive it and it'll learn the uh, system and everything and kind of how I drive it. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Well, hey guys, we got that uh, fuel injection on there and that is a Phytech fuel injection system. It went on really pretty easy. Uh, and I'm really happy on uh, how the thing's running. Uh, it says that you need to drive it and it'll learn your driving. And uh, so anyway, probably I'll uh, take it out next week and uh, we'll drive it around a little bit and see how it does. But anyway, everything's looking good here. So I appreciate y'all coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.